Hey everyone, this is Ice Rain Cloud here. 1.16 has finally come out today, um, well, June 23rd, I think. Um, maybe it's July, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to check later. So, so since 1.16 came out, I want to see all the new blocks inside the inside the game right now because uh yeah yeah you just ignore the fact that i built the castle right there so uh yeah i want to i want to show you guys every single new block inside the game and uh yeah so uh let's do this hold on there we go oh yeah and if you guys didn't realize my skin is upside down so uh, my, my skin is reversed yeah I, I need an idea now, the first thing is blackstone. Blackstone is a pretty regular block that you can use to craft stone tools, such as um, stone tools and furnaces, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, you have you have um, the pressure plates. Uh, they work just like normal stone pressure plates. You have buttons, stone just like the stone ones. Um, walls. You have three types of walls: the regular blackstone ones. The polished blackstone ones and the polished blackstone bricks. Uh, you also have the blocks. This is reg. What? Um. Hold on. Blackstone. There we go. So um, you know what? I'm just gonna go into survival mode slash game mode survival. There we go. So this is regular blackstone, which you can use again to craft um, stone tools, such as stone pickaxe, stone axe. Every everything that you can make with stone, you can make with this. Um, everything that you can make with cobblestone, you can replace it with um, blackstone. Then we have the blackstone slab, the blackstone stairs. There's polished variants, and um, there's polished variants and brick variants of these two blocks. There's also a cracked. Uh, polished blackstone bricks and chiseled polished blackstone bricks. So yeah, forgot to put them in here because yeah. Um, yeah. This is called gilded blackstone. Ooh, that's a nice noise. This is gilded blackstone. If you you can find this in Bastion Remnants, um, maybe sometimes in Basalt Deltas, which is a new biome in the Nether. Um, so yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just mine this up, and it gives you gold with a pickaxe if you do it with a pickaxe. So um, that's that's pretty much it. This here, um, okay. This um is Nether Gold Ore. It basically acts the same way as Gilded Blackstone, except um, you know what? Never mind. It just spawns in the regular Nether parts, which are now renamed as Nether Wastes. So uh. That, that's pretty cool. Then we have these types of blocks. These blocks. Wait, why is there snow up there? All right. These blocks are um are like well the well there's they're strange blocks. This here is called a nether root. I, th I thought you could break that with your own hands. Oh yeah. Um, as you guys can see, there's a game mode switcher now. So um. They're sprouts. My bad. Those things are called nether sprouts. Now I'm just gonna F go back to survival mode. Um, these are nether sprouts, and this is um, nylium, warp nylium, I think it's called. This, um, yeah, this is twist. These are twisted vines, which you can use to climb up and down. Also, you can bone meal them exactly like the weeping vines that you'll see later. Um, well, not that much later, just a few seconds later. This is called Warped Fungi, which is basically like a mushroom. It's basically like a mushroom that can grow into a tree. Oh, a giant fungus. This is called Warped Fungus, as you can see. So, um, yeah, it's basically like a tiny nether sapling. This is, um, this is the nether stem, the warp stem. And these are the warp warp blocks. Yeah, that was that's pretty hard to say. Um, what these do is what these few blocks do is basically they act just like um they they basically just act like regular regular uh, what was it called again? They just act like regular wood. You can break them. 
you can craft stuff out of them, you can craft planks, you can strip them, you can do a lot of things. This is a weeping vine, uh, it's basically like a different variant of this, the twisting vines, except it grows downwards, not upwards, as you can see. So if I break those, you can see that um, it grows that it grows upwards instead of downwards. So if I were to break this bottom block here, well, vine, um, this would um, this would stop growing and it would all fall off. But um, the the weeping vines are actually the other way around. If you break the top block, the bottom parts will fall off. Um, just as you can see, um, we have more weeping vines over here. This is um this is like this is the counterpart to this thing which um is technically almost exactly the same yeah this is almost exactly the same it's just a different color this, this is called crimson um crimson stem these are another word blocks it's nothing special it's not like these um this is a crimson fungi a fungus and these are crimson roots. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Now, over here we have all the uh, the, vari the, the varieties of um, warp um, blocks. We have stairs, planks, the hyphae, which you can use an axe to strip the the stem and the hyphae. You can strip both of them; it doesn't matter. And you also have fence gates, buttons. The, um, pressure plates, uh, oh my god, uh, fence posts, um, trapdoors, slabs, yeah, you should probably follow this in the device, signs, doors, and it's the same thing for the warped blocks, it's, it's just the same story, uh, you got everything else you need, you can strip these, it, it, it could give you, it's the same result with a different color. Seriously, please, just please stop. I'm reading from the sign here, and even the sign agrees with me. Just do it. And, um, I'm gonna throw this down here. Uh, we have two more blocks. Basalt and polished basalt. Which, um, you can, you can get polished basalt by putting four basalt in a crafting table. Um, like, in a square formation. To get polished basalt. Or you could use a stone cutter, and that's about it. Uh, we have two new variants of nether bricks. We have the the correct nether bricks, which is pretty new actually, and these the um what was it called again? Oh yeah, chiseled nether bricks. I also forgot to mention there's a new block also. It's basically like a different version of glowstone. It's called shroom lights, and you need to mine them with a hoe. Hoes have hoes have gotten a lot of upgrades in this update, so uh, yeah. Let's just get back to where we are. Now, here are the most special things about this update. We have ancient debris, which you can only mine with a diamond pickaxe to get it. We have netherite blocks, which are very expensive because you need four ancient debris to make one netherite ingot. And if you think it's going to be more expensive because of all this armor and tools, don't worry. You only need one piece of netherite for each for each um item armor set you know uh you can you these are this is another right armor you can um you can put them in the smithing table together which is which has now been made useful apparently you can put them in the smithing table together with the diamond armor and you'll get the same enchantments if it's named you'll get the same name and you'll get everything the same just in darker mode and it does also does more damage like um diamond swords do about seven attack damage Unenchanted um, netherite katanas? Um, okay. Do about 8 damage. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that was strange. You have netherite ingot and netherite scrap. You put 4 of these netherite scrap with 4 um, gold ingots together to make 1 netherite ingot. Now, here mm -hmm. are more are 2 more special things, and I don't think I did something right. I need to... I, this is a lodestone. This is a lodestone. And this is a compass. You can press this, you can do that, to get a lodestone compass, and this compass will always, this compass will always face the lodestone, no matter what. And this is a respawn anchor. I'm pretty scared to use it because, yeah, you can put more of these, the light level is going to increase, so um, that, that's pretty dangerous. I'm just going to fill this up. 
uh, put this back in here. So yeah, now you see this. This is um, a respawn anchor. I'm gonna be so careful not to right click this. Over here we have a few new mobs. I'm gonna grab this. Um, that is called a piglin. And it's hostile at me because I don't have any gold armor. Oh. Over here we have a hoglin, which is also a hostile mob. I'm just gonna back off here. Wait. Wait, why does this hoglin only have one tusk? Wait a minute, what? Uh, okay. This here is a zoglin, which is a hostile mob, which will literally attack anything that it sees. Again, with the one tusk. Um... Over here we have a zombified piglin, which basically replaces the regular zombie pigman, if, if you know what it is. And over here, I forgot to put a window on the glass, we have striders. Yeah, this is a strider when it's in lava, and this is the strider when it's not in lava. Why is it- why did- why is this so strange? They only have one leg. I'm- I'm confused right now. I'm very confused. Now, um, striders can- uh, walk on lava as you can see right there and if they're not on lava they're uh they're gonna be cold they're gonna be shivering so uh i can get rid of these right here now um over here we have two new things about this update a warp fungus on a stick um and the strider of course i can just lead him all the way over here put a saddle on him get him to get over here and now I can do this. I can ride him. And I can make him boost um, every time I click this. I can make him go super fast. Except he doesn't go as fast on land because um, he's too cold. So he has to be here like um, the lava. And um, basically he's like um, a nether boat. Oh no. Okay, now I feel bad. He's basically like a nether boat. So, um, now you don't have to fear that much about these, um, lava lakes anymore, because you can ride them. And these are new, are new blocks, um, yeah, all of these. This is, uh, we covered this earlier. Another gold ore is here again, for some reason, I'm just gonna break it. This is taking a pretty long time. You know what, forget it. Um... Over here we have blue flames, as you can see, they do twice as much damage, so uh, you, you be, be careful about this right now. So This is called soul soil, which you can ignite to make soul flames, soul fires? I, I don't know. Uh, you can also use the soul, the soul thing, the soul soil to make soul torches, which are crafted with, um, which are crafted the regular way you would craft a torch. Except you add one piece of soul soil underneath the recipe. And then you can use a soul torch to make a soul lantern, which is just um, a lantern. Which is just a regular crafting recipe of a lantern, except with a soul torch in the middle instead of a regular torch. And then we have the chain. Ooh, that's, not, that's a very nice sound. The chain is um, a pretty simple block that can be crafted with two iron nuggets and one piece oh, and one iron ingot. Um, you put the iron ingot in the middle, and on the top and bottom, you put, um, the, um, the nuggets. You have a soul campfire, which is basically the same way a campfire is made, except, um, you put soul soil in the middle instead of the coal. And here we have some changes to redstone. Um, they turn, they turn redstone into a cross. So, um, if you were thinking to do the, some sort of build with, um, redstone as a piece of, well, let's say ketchup, just in case. Um, you can still do that, um, but, uh, this is how it defaults now, so, if you right-click it, you can toggle between this and that. Um, we have another new feature, which is a target block. A target block is a redstone item that would emit a signal if you shot it, just as you can see. Uh, right there. I'm gonna put these back. Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm not really good at redstone, so, uh, I don't think I'll be using this often. Um, you have these, a music disc, um, it's called Pig Step. Uh, you can find it in the nether, in bastions. Um, yeah, you can, you can look it up, um, in your creative inventory. Search, um, Pig Step, I think. No, wait. 
actually the game mode switcher they removed um the um f3 end feature so you gotta press f3 f4 to access it let's see um i think it was pig yeah there we go um so yeah i'll leave you guys to listen to that in your own minecraft worlds and uh yeah now there's a new block um hold on there's a new block in the game that's called jade um there's a new there's a new item in the game that's called jade um no i'm just kidding these these are just um these are just emeralds retextured emeralds it means if i do f3h you can see it says emerald and these um i, re I renamed them to be block of jade and jade ore um this is a custom texture pack i made so um yeah you can you can see by the crosshair and the blue hearts but yeah now um here's the next thing we have these this i'm gonna go in here just this is these are just in case and now we appear in a new biome oh my god that's loud now this biome is called the basalt deltas as you can see um there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, basalt and blackstone here so um yeah that's pretty self for me let me grab this this one here now um there are also a few more biomes as you can see in a moment uh, i'm trying to find them i mean i lost them somewhere there they they were somewhere over there look over here we have a warped forest as you can see by the f3 screen um we have uh let's hope i can find another one nope that's not it i need to find these i need to find two more biomes in this um, update we have the nether waste um which is the regular nether part they've been renamed as nether wastes and over here we have crimson forest um seems pretty small yeah this is where hoglings spawn and a lot of other things um if i can find a soul sand valley you know what let's do this locate biome which is a new command uh slash locate biome is a new command minecraft Whoop, my bad. Soul Sand Valley. There we go. So now I can press this to teleport myself. Press enter. Oh, there we go. Let's go upwards and we'll probably find it. Um, in the meantime, you can enjoy my face. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Isn't there supposed to be a Soul Sand Valley in here? oh okay i understand now it generated at the top of the surface of the world so um yeah um basically the soul sand valley is a very dangerous place you do not want to go there and here it is the soul sand valley um if you grab the splint and steel and light uh these blocks the soul sand and the soul soil you get blue flames um there's also a new enchantment called soul speed i forgot to mention it make, basically makes you walk faster on soul sand and soul soil. Um, yeah. These are the most dangerous. The, the soul sand valleys are the most dangerous places in the game. You have skeletons, wither skeletons. Wait. I'm not sure. Um, you got skeletons, fossils. Um, what else? We got gas. Um, piglins. Zombified piglins. They, they all spawn here. But what's strange is that even though the piglins um, sometimes spawn in here, they're scared of blue light, which means that they're gonna run away if I put some sort of um, light, uh, some sort of fire source. Look, they're they're running away from it. That's how scared they are of this thing. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe, just like the two signs said. And um, yeah. Comment for comment uh, if you want more of these videos. Comment with comment a lot of things. Comment whatever you want. Just just please subscribe. So uh, bye. Well, um, Minecraft 1.16 is out. So uh, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment if you want down below. Um, so uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and besides, uh, I have no idea how to give out a texture pack. So uh. Don't ask me for it.
Sorry. <laughs>